All right, you guys, welcome to our live power hour. Um, assignment number one just went up, and I will read it to you real fast. Maybe. Where did my web browser go? There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Assignment number one, find three people on Facebook that you aren't already friends with and you aren't mute and that you aren't mutual friends with any other Beachbody coach. Good luck. Okay. Uh, friend request them. Click like when you're done. Um, some examples are high school friends, people from your kid's school, etc. You have five minutes. So technically right now, I think you've probably got three or four minutes. Um, and last night when we did our call, I told you that I like to go into my uh, interest groups and like and comment on somebody who I think I would get along with, right? Because you're trying to find the people who you would mesh with. Um, I like and comment on their post inside that group and then I send them a friend request. So they're not necessarily just getting this friend request from some random person. They're seeing the friend request plus the like and the comment on the post. So they know where I found them from. And so the chances are that they're actually going to accept your friend request is a lot higher. <clears throat> um, one thing that Nate said last night after you guys all got off the call was that you got to make sure too that every week, every couple weeks or so, you make sure you go back into your friend requests, the ones that you've sent out, and whoever hasn't accepted your friend request, make sure you go back and delete those mm -hmm. ones um, so that you don't have so many open pending friend requests out there. So, and, and Maisley, you're not playing on my phone. Um, and make sure that you guys, cause you know how we're, yeah, add more people to your network, to your friends list. Make sure you're not adding like 20 or 30 people a day because that will throw a red flag. And then you're, you can't send any friend requests for three months. Okay. Not fun. Okay. So keep it to like, I'll sometimes send out, because I like to have three new friends, so I'll usually send out five. <clears throat> you can have a tiny drink, and then you need to go to bed. All right, so is number one all done? Oh, yep, number two's up. Good. Nate liked it. Scott liked it. Marcy liked it. <clears throat> okay. And Trina liked it, Megan liked it. Okay, so you guys are all done. Okay, now we're on to assignment number two. Go through your current friends list or a list of prospects. Send them a hey girl or a yo bro message. Um, example, hey girl, just wanted to say hi and see how you're doing. Can you believe it's 2016 already? Crazy, right? What's new with you and the fam? Okay, do five of these. and. Real fast, since uh, I didn't get to show this in the video that I made last um, <clears throat> last night, uh, I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you, okay, I've gotta move this back over, maybe, somehow. Okay, um, show you what you can do from uh, your Facebook page. Okay, I'm opening up a new screen. I'll make this a little bit bigger so that we can see a little bit better. Um, okay, so if you go into your profile and then into your friends list, and then if the people up at the top of your list are the people that you uh, come in contact most frequently, okay? So these are all the people who, who you see all their posts and they see all your posts. Um, so what you do is you scroll down to the bottom um, because down closer to the bottom are people that you haven't talked with in a while. And when you start liking or commenting or sending them um, a message just saying, hey, you know, what's been going on? Uh, Facebook recognizes that. And so the longer the conversation goes on, the higher you go up to being seen on their um, 
on their newsfeed. Okay, so this is what uh, Jen showed me. If you want to send out five messages, you go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I opened five new tabs up in my, um, okay, I can't have this sitting right here. Uh, how do I move this? Okay, move to the bottom. Okay, so go back to here. Let's say I want to send her a message and say, hey, what's up? I want to send her a message and say, what's up? I want to send her a message and say, what's up? Okay, so then once you get uh, your five friends all picked out up into these, then you can go back and <clears throat> Uh, scroll through their profile, kind of see what they're uh, up to. Uh-oh. My high computer usage is affecting the quality. Um, the qu <laughs> quality of the call. Um, and then you can see what they're up to and then send them a message and say, oh, hey, I saw, oh, that you pinned this cute board about uh, a panty box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, super funny. Um, anyhow, and then you're not having to go back into your uh, Facebook profile and then out and then back in and then out, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. That way you've got everybody that you're sending a message to up at the top. You can send a message, send a message, send a message um, a lot faster that way than having to go back into your profile every single time. <laughs> For the five friends. Does that make sense, you guys? <clears throat> Hopefully. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, now I got to get back to our our other page <clears throat> because I'm guessing that probably number three oh not up yet okay how much time we have eight minutes okay so a couple more minutes to get those done um, and then like when you're done uh, obviously with as fast as you I mean, you have eight minutes to send out five messages. That's not a whole lot of time. So you don't necessarily have to share the names of the people that you messaged in the comment section. Um, you know, don't, you don't have to worry about that. The main key I think is just to like it so that you actually get it done. Can he get on? Is he on? No. You just said on Facebook now? Okay. So he'll just be a little bit late. <clears throat> and tell everybody to feel free to add their, hmm? like their coaches. Yeah, you know, to um to the new page that I did today, that's where I'm gonna unless I'm doing one of these power hours um for our team call, like tonight's, I'm gonna keep all the events for the calls. Um in this in this uh hitting our goals and beyond group um just so that we're not driving everybody else who's just like a discount coach and happy to be so in our team page crazy with all of these events um so if you if you uh have any of your coaches who want to build um definitely let them know that they can join this group okay you guys I told you I was gonna end up paying for it. We're in the middle of a call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Still money. You took what? I'm so confused right now. Children. I need to go to bed. Okay, Miss, you need to go to bed too. I want one more drink. Yeah. Okay, go to bed. Give me a hug. Mm. Okay. Jesse. Okay. 
All right, you guys ready for assignment number three? <clears throat> okay, so uh, assignment number three, go through your no or maybe list. Um, find fee five people from that list to specifically follow up with. And hopefully you wrote down their goals and what they're working on, what program they're interested in, et cetera, and follow up with them. Um, <clears throat> for example, hey Joe, just following up with you, I saw, I know last month you were interested in losing some weight and starting to lift. Wanted to see if you had given any more thought on Body Beast or if there were any other questions I could answer for you. Let me know, you're on, you're on my to-do list, so I wanted to make sure we touch base and you rock your goals. You have 10 minutes to do this with five people. Click like when you're done. And it says post a screenshot of one of the messages you sent, but that's not necessary. <clears throat> so, and one more thing to uh, you guys that I think I might add into um, our power hours from now on is, you don't just want to add the new friends on Facebook, okay? Uh, so what I do is I write down the three names from like Monday, okay? And on my power of three list, underneath the first, the first row that you're writing down your new friends list, um, I have new hey girl messages to the new friends. So basically on... Tuesday, like today, I'll go back to the people who accepted my friend request yesterday and send them a message and say, hey, so-and-so, you know, whatever their name is, um, I hope you didn't think it was too crazy that I sent you a friend request. I saw you in one of the groups that I'm in, and it looked like we might have some things in common. Uh, how's your day going? You know what I mean? Because um, then that way you're going to start um talking with them and then they're gonna start seeing your posts as well too even if you don't like say anything beach body to them just starting that conversation with them will make it so that they'll start seeing your posts does that make sense i hope so okay <clears throat> so that's i mean that's another thing i do on my power hour that's not technically on this one um and then uh, good night. night. Love you. Morning. See you in the morning. Um, and then, you know, like inviting to your upcoming challenge group, clean eating group, coach open house, uh, follow ups. Okay. We're already doing follow ups right now. Um, and then coach opportunity conversations. So your invites to the different groups and your coach opportunity conversations start from the, or come from those messages that you start with the new people that you're talking to and your current friends list that you send out messages saying, Hey, how's it going? You know what I mean? That's where you, um, you'll eventually get to a point in the conversation where you just ask them and say, Hey, I'm doing this, uh, online motivation and accountability for health and fitness goals. Do you have any health and fitness goals for the for the new year or whatever you know what i mean and just ask them to see if, see if they're interested if they are great give them more information if they're not great continue on being friends All right, I think we have like five more minutes to send out those uh, follow-up conversations. <clears throat>
He's just in there going through all the assignments. <laughs> assignments at what group are they in um they are in an event page in our hitting our goals and beyond group so those are the ones that we're supposed to be liking on is the one on the event page yeah in the event page of um zoom link is in that page too right yeah the zoom link is let's see and Matt, are you are you in that group yet? No, uh, I've got the event page. Okay, I think the event page you're talking about is the one that uh, is on in our team page from last night. I have yeah. a whole new group that's called uh, "Hitting Our Goals and Beyond." I will invite you real fast, maybe. Oh, hang on. I can only invite, invite, okay, people that are in the group. Hang on just a second. <clears throat> okay, add members. Matt Dixon. Okay. Oh, and Josh just popped on. Okay, did you see that I uh, added you into the group? Yeah. Okay, and then it's in the event page in there. Okay, boom, I like it. Okay, shall we see if the next assignment is up? Okay, are you guys ready for assignment number four? Everybody's like, no, slow down, slow down. Like pencils down, the test is over. I know, right? <laughs> You better have gotten all five messages in. <laughs> you guys, you guys. Hey, Josh, what's up? Can't hear you. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I win. All right. Now I get back to my Facebook here. All right. Okay, so you guys are. Um, obviously on the call and you're in the Facebook group of the event page of the Facebook group, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think we're up for assignment number four. Why is it? Okay. There we go. All right. Craft a Facebook or Instagram post. It must have a picture of you or, a, or at least a transformation of somebody else. Okay. Um, so the thing is, is we don't want to have like uh, the stock pictures of the 21 day fix challenge pack and say, Hey, look at this challenge pack. You know what I mean? Because 
people don't buy into what we're doing because of necessarily what we have. They, they buy into it because of you. You know what I mean? You're, you're the variable that, um, cause honestly, if they just want 21 day fix, they'll go and buy it from like Amazon or eBay or whatever. Uh, the reason that they come to you is because they want you to help them. Um, so always make sure like in your posts that you're in your posts, right? Okay. Um, it must either promote Shakeology, a workout, personal development, or coaching. It must be visually appealing. Uh, words to the post must invoke emotion of some sort, okay? Uh, final part of the post must tell them what to do, like where to message you, or how to get more information, etc. You have eight minutes to make your post. After you do this, click like, and then screenshot it. Woohoo! Post one about six of them. And then comment your picture in the thread below. <clears throat> yeah, I just made a fit club one. Doesn't that count? No. I've, I've got a picture. Okay, so who, um, who all on here posts uh, their picture like at the time all the time? So like in the morning, you do your workout, you take your picture, you post it. At lunch, you take a picture of your food, you post it right then. You know what I mean? Does anybody do that or does everybody kind of have pictures and then post them when they need to? Or does so, like some of you get your post done the day before and schedule them for the next day or at least have them done and all wrote up so all you have to do is post your picture and copy and paste whenever you want to post it? I, I post my pictures of my morning workouts and then I suck for the rest of the day. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is if you put in your um power hour well technically it'd probably be like a power hour and a half if you're getting all of your posts done for the next day even even if you don't like technically schedule them if you get the pictures done and get the text all wrote out in like a note then the next day after your uh workout pick you've got something to post after that something to post after that something to post after that but honestly i I really like just scheduling them and then they post automatically. Yeah, and then, make and, yeah, and then you're guaranteed, you know, that you're actually posting as many times a day as possible. Woohoo, Marcy's got her done hers done. <clears throat> Yep, I overloaded my computer. Overloaded. It's locked up. <laughs> oh no. It said quit typing so fast. <laughs> Got the rainbow swirly going on. Oh no. Is it a MacBook? <laughs> Yeah. Doing this number? Do, 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 do. Oh no. Well, that's no good. Okay, you're working from your phone now. <laughs> you're in the trenches. Come on. <laughs> you're not just going to lay down and die, are you? <laughs> Too much, Jenny. Too much. For you? Can't do that. Can't die. No, no dying. Um, okay, so one of the things that I told you guys last night is the two photo editing apps that I really, really, really like um, is PixArt, P-I-C-S-A-R-T. Um, I really like the smart blur function because it kind of just like 
blurs and makes my skin look all super nice. And it also has a teeth whited, a teeth whitening, right? Because sometimes your pictures, you're just your teeth just aren't very super bright, and so it has one of those too. And so I like to use that. And then, and then I That's really why I grew a beard. You grew a beard. That doesn't cover your teeth. No, but it makes them look real white because it's next to black. <laughs> that's and true. Dry. I don't know if that's an option. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Scott would like that too much. Um, <laughs> uh, anyhow, and then I really like Rona Designs, R-H-O-N-N-A -N -N -A Designs, for all my wording and... Um, uh, they have like some quotes already done up that you can put on your picture, all that good stuff. What was, the name of that second one? what was the name of the second one again? It's Rona Designs, R-H-O-N-N-A -N -N -A Designs. It's one that you have to pay for. It's like a couple of bucks, but honestly, as much as I use it, it definitely was worth it for me to get it. Now I'm going to whiten my teeth just a little bit. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Oh, and we have five minutes left on our Zoom. So as soon as it uh, kicks us all off, just click the link again and we'll, we'll pop right back on. And if we're planning on doing these uh, out power hours quite frequently, you guys, um, I, I will probably just go ahead and pay for the unlimited subscription to Zoom so that we don't keep getting popped off every single time. Um, it's hitting our goals and beyond. Because we don't just want to hit your goals once. You know? Infinity. Yeah, it was. To, I totally almost like named it to infinity and beyond because I felt like it, but then so I didn't. For <laughs> exactly. Hey, Megan. <laughs> What's up? Did you see the uh, what Team Dynasty? They're going to that what YouTube Live or something like that. Have you looked into that at all? Oh. Facebook Live. Facebook Live or YouTube? YouTube. It was a YouTube live thing for uh, it's what they posted it today. They took us into it from now on. What was that, Josh? They're they're getting rid of instant presenter and going to YouTube live. Oh, do you have to pay for YouTube live? No, no. Oh. they don't have to pay for it, and there's no cap on as many people as can be in it now. No cap and probably no time limit. Right, yeah, I'm not sure about the time limit, but they, they were saying it was definitely better for their team calls. Okay. So, so maybe it might be something worth looking into if you're going to, instead of paying. Of paying. Right, that's a good idea. They said the other big thing about that YouTube rather than the Instant Presenter was that it's so much easier to access from all platforms. Because I like guess the Presenter is yeah. kind of a pain to get on from your phone. Right, yeah, you have to have like a converter type app to access but with youtube live uh i don't get to see you guys right i'm not sure how it works I, they just posted it today because i know um whenever we do like the surge calls you can only see like carl and whoever talking at corporate and then everybody else can be in the chat um but I think to to converse back and forth, um, I don't I don't know if you can do that. But maybe Google Hangout. I don't know. I haven't checked out those either. <coughs> but good idea though. Rather than just going, okay, well we'll spend some money. I'll I'll actually do some checking into and see what I can <coughs> I can see. Okay. Oh, post number five. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> I just got to put a saying of some sort to here. We'll just go Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. 
But I gotta make it like hot pink. You know why I hate posting this kind of stuff. I'm being hand. <laughs> oh, that'll be cute. That's for posting cat videos. Your, what? Cat videos? <coughs> cat videos are not Shakeology, a transformation. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to read number five to you guys. All right, assignment number five, create a spreadsheet. Oh, I have less than a minute. Um, create a spreadsheet, find a notebook to use, and write down, um, or write, and write down 100 names of just people that you know, no judgment, just anybody, school teachers, mailman, the regular person at the checkout, friends from church, coworkers, old high school friends, college friends, next door neighbor, from elementary school, etc. You get what I'm saying. Try to write down 100 names or as many as you can within five minutes. Um, and then if you want to, take a pic and post it if you have time. Um, and if you were on the call last night, uh, just do your best to add on to your list um, from last night. <laughs> Starting using Instead of just letting it go. Well, yeah, like All right, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> assignment number six. <clears throat> I gotta go back to assignment number five and post my picture. I just didn't Oh. Yeah, holy crap. Yeah, six, is six is six is already up. How did five go so fast? <clears throat> that is the question. Okay, I gotta go back and find where's four at? Gotta be up here somewhere. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Oh, really, Scott? Really? <coughs> I don't care about the names. I'm looking at your picture that you posted. <laughs> I don't want to read it. Why? Oh, did it say something about all the mosquitoes? Yeah. Okay, I just got mine posted up for assignment number four. <laughs> Well, once everybody does does it once, it's why am I on YouTube? Goodness sakes, T squirrel moment, totally or something. <clears throat> Did you post it just on your regular profile page? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see it. Okay, maybe I'll just find you. Okay, are you guys working on your <coughs> your list of a hundred right now? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> working on it. Someone's working on it. Okay. I gotta do something better than my cat post. <laughs> Be goofy. The cat post was awesome. Well, what to do? Where did I message you? I give my permission. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. My cat post was awesome. Your cat post was awesome. Yes. It was sweet. Okay, exit full screen. What am I doing here? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Scott. 
Okay, let's. Well, what was Josh's motivational post this morning? That was hilarious. What was that? Where where did you find that shake? <laughs> Just a random. Another one of my friends posted it. I stole it. Holy one. crap! I was dying laughing. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Uh -uh. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I saw it, but I was listening to some PD. And I just kind of read through the comments. Uh oh. Frozen? I'm frozen. And we're back. <laughs> Minor details. <clears throat> okay, are you guys ready for? Ooh, Nate's got a list of 350. Mm. Scott's got a hundred boom. boom. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay, let me refresh this page. My face itches. Okay. So, <laughs> your face. Stupid energized. <laughs> all right. Have you guys all done assignment number six? Yes, no. Do I have to do that again? No, you don't have to do it again. If you already wrote it down in your calendar, all the Super Saturdays for the rest of this year, you don't have to do it again. <clears throat> so that means you can keep adding to your 350. <laughs> or you can go on to, okay, so did you guys see assignment number six? Um, I'll read it real fast. We are an event-driven business, and you should be at everyone you possibly can. Uh, go into your coach online office, find the dates for the rest of the Super Saturdays in 2016, add these to your calendar, and like this post when you've got them all done. So the next one is April 2nd, <clears throat> and then we've got June. We did this yesterday. Anybody else got the June, or is it July, or is it August? August 6th. August. August. Okay, first weekend in August, and then October uh, 29th. And that takes care of them for the rest of the year. Uh, Summit is the last Thursday, Friday, Saturday in July. Hopefully everybody's going. If not, hopefully you're on the wait list to get a ticket to go. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. All right. So assignment number six, hopefully you guys got that all already. Um, on to seven. Okay. Go into your coach online office, check the breaking coach news, make any note of anything you haven't read, look at the alerts, see if there's, if you've got any new coaches, new customers, check your sponsorship drill down. Um, look at one new section or a section you haven't looked at in a while. Uh, click like when you've done this, and if you want to share something interesting you looked at in the Coach Online office. You have three minutes. Oh. <clears throat> Matt, Matt, you hooking us up with a team cup? <clears throat> oh. Nate. I said, are you hooking us up with a team cup? Am I hooking us up with one? Yeah, let's do this. Sounds good to me, buddy. I asked him, but he said he's all down. All right. Yep, I've got that on my to-do list to, to do tomorrow, is hopefully finalize everybody's um, team cup teams and then have all the, the leaders of the each team to get us all registered tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Okay, are you guys ready for assignment number eight? Dang, Marcy's ready. She's already like on it. Okay, assignment number eight, three vital behavior check-in. What was your Shakeology recipe today? List what all was in it, what time you drank it, what was your workout, be specific, when did you complete it, uh, what book are you reading? What pages or like chapter did you read or how long did you listen if it's on audio? Share one thing that you learned from your PD today. <clears throat> I 
Marcy said she learned that doing things faster does not always mean doing them right. Also, you must focus on all four basic needs, but truly be happy and satisfied. To be truly happy and satisfied. <clears throat> Sweet. I got in trouble for not doing this one correctly yesterday. So. <laughs> you didn't follow all the instructions yeah. yesterday. Hey, yeah, this greatest salesman, scroll number one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. We're doubling two right here. I I dog aired the page for scroll number one too. Did you guys see that there is um <clears throat> there is an audio of the greatest salesman in the world. Uh, Bridget was asking because she doesn't have her book yet. And so did you guys all see the help button in, in our new group? Okay, so I posted the two links of audio in um, her question on, her, on the help button. Um, <clears throat> there's one that's like uh, the whole entire book. And then there's one that just starts with, um, with chapter eight, scroll number one. <clears throat> so, and Trina, have you guys been reading it out loud at night before you go to bed? We do. Perfect. We actually take turns. He'll read one night and I'll read the other night. That's perfect. That is awesome. And not only are you building like yourself, but <clears throat> you're building your relationship when you're doing it together like that. Absolutely. That's awesome. I got my shake. See, I'm drinking it right now. I, I did chocolate and a scoop of recovery. So, it, oh, Scott made it for me. I told him to. <laughs> so that counts. <laughs> so it was like really super big. I'm like, oh man. And then I'm going to have a vanilla dream when we're done with this because it makes me sleep good. And a sauna session, it sounds like. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. Um, tropical with Energize, Scoop of Green. Josh, Nat, and Megan, what do you think of this? Do you think it's beneficial to do it like a couple times a week? Matt's shaking his head. Oh, where did yeah, No, this is This is excellent. This is like... Make sit down, this is what you're supposed to be doing, so. Yeah, not, not just scrolling for hours and be like, shit. Right. Yeah, like I would, I would still be looking for people to friend request right now, no, honestly, that's where that's I would be. No, I'm 100% I'm, I'm down, I think that's awesome. I definitely need to do this. Um, Sean, however you pronounce his last name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Posted posted a bunch of stuff, and I guess there's like a Google plugin that you can like turn off your Facebook newsfeed, turn it on and off when you want. Um, you posted a bunch about it in Team Dynasty, so I've been wanting to do that because I'm absolutely number one through twenty offender of just looking through my newsfeed. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
and, and frankly, I mean, most of it I don't really even care about. I just, for some reason, look through it, like trying to think of something to start a conversation about, and it just never works. Yeah, I tried that out for like a couple of weeks where I just turned my notifications on my phone off, and I got really disconnected. I like, I missed people commenting in our team page, like posting in our team page. I miss people commenting on my pictures. Like I, I got really disconnected for like two weeks. And then I was, I just got to the point where I was like, I don't feel like I've talked to like anybody lately or anybody's been commenting on my stuff or anything like that. It was just because I wasn't seeing all the notifications. So I, I, had, I had to turn it back on because I was like, I was, I was so disconnected. I could see not uh turning off the notifications on my phone for me it would just be when i sit down on my computer to like do a power hour or something like that just turning off my news feed while i do that would probably help me a lot. yeah that would make sense okay Are yeah, you guys for, um you guys get done with eight yes well she's not on the call she's not on our zoom call though but she's she's commenting on the stuff so she's she's getting it done um <clears throat> let's see what have we got here Did i can I tell you right now that it's driving me nuts because i've got people that are starting to message me back now mm -hmm. <laughs> but i'm trying to stay focused <laughs> right i told you at fit club everybody was like oh my nose my notification is blown up mm -hmm. Yep. And so the key to making sure that you get in all the conversations, the amount of conversations that you're supposed to be starting each day, don't reply back to one until you've already sent out all the ones that you want to send out and then start replying back. Otherwise, if somebody replies right back and you write, reply right back, you know what I mean? Then you got one conversation started. <clears throat> That's good. That's where I run into trouble because I, I start messaging people and I get about three deep and then all three of them start responding and then that is. Right. Wait, wait to respond. Wait to eat. Like, don't even look at what they had to say at all until all of yours are already sent out. Otherwise, you'll just get stuck with the three that started messaging you back and you won't get any of the other ones sent out. When, you try, when you're trying to find somebody to talk to and you go to their page and you don't know the person, uh, do you what do you do when you go to their page and all they do is they share a bunch of crap and they don't write anything about themselves like how do you start a conversation with someone like that do you just skip them um you can just ask them just say well like the the people that i send friend requests to i find them from uh like the interest groups that i'm in and so i'll usually like and comment <clears throat> on their post and then send them a friend request <clears throat> and then the next day the people who accepted my friend request on Monday I send them a message on Tuesday and I basically just say hey hopefully you don't think I'm too crazy for sending you a friend request I saw your post in a group that I'm in and I thought that we <clears throat> might have a lot in common How's your day going? And just, ask, you know what I mean? Just ask them that so that you're not like, so I see you like to post a lot of cat videos. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I like cats too. Because sometimes people, honestly, on their profile, all they do is share other people's videos, other people's posts. And it's like, you have nothing to go off of from what they actually might like you know what I mean like what they really are um, so that's what I do is just ask them how their day is going so all right did you guys see assignment number nine schedule your power hour on your calendar how many times a week or how many times a day depends on how much time you are devoting to your business screenshot your calendar show me one entry or if you have a paper calendar take the photo and show me the entry of your next power hour. It should be an appointment you do not miss. Click like when you're done. Good, good, got a couple in there. 
All right. <clears throat> and is assignment number 10 up yet? Yeah. Okay. Done. Let's no, see. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. You guys are so smack, so, so fast. Smashed. I don't know what smashed is, but you guys are apparently it. Um, assignment number 10, I will be a blank by blank, or I will accomplish blank by blank. Basically share your goal with me and be as specific as you can by listing a date. Um, <clears throat> diamond by July 1st, diamond by April 1st, three star at summit, that's perfect. Awesome, I know. Um, you guys probably hear me say this all the time, but I know if you're doing the action steps daily, consistently every day, okay? And I'm not, I'm not just saying, okay, like, because back in the day when it was just inviting, inviting, check mark. You know what I mean? Like, Okay, I talked to a couple people today, check mark. You know what I mean? That's not technically really like inviting. So that's why I did the power of three chart because when you're doing those whole things, that's really inviting. Um, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Um, but I know for a fact, if you do the daily steps that you need to, to get to your goal, um, Obviously, if you've got a goal to make $10,000 in six months and you only have 10 minutes a day to spend on your uh, business, that's not a very realistic goal. You know what I mean? So as long as your action steps are aligned with your goal, if you do them every day, I have no doubt that you will not hit your goal. <laughs> All right. Oh, Matt's got his up. Hey, SC5. I like that for February. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. And is the bonus one up yet? Yeah? Okay. All right. So your bonus, bonus, bonus. Maybe if it'll show me. Oh. Megan commented something. Oh, she's commenting and showing me uh, one of her messages, it looks like. Okay, bonus assignment. Send an audio message to three people. Do you guys all know how to do that? Just like voice text that doesn't like text it out for you. It actually records your voice. And then it's like, Shh, over. And then it, it sends it. You don't have to do the sound. You don't have to do the sound? I thought you did. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you don't have to do the sound over okay um anyhow send out three audio messages can be on facebook or text can be pretty much anybody an existing customer a coach a prospect uh can be about anything they're just really super personal and they really add a nice touch um it's kind of nice for other people to actually be able to hear you so that you're not just a computer with words you know what i mean it makes it so that you're more of a real person to them um share below who you sent it to and what it was about and congrats for completing your power hour who thought this was beneficial marcy says i honestly love these thank you hun and she's, uh, she's just smiling at me how hey, do you do the audio stuff how do you do the audio yeah um so would you be doing it from your phone or from your computer my phone okay from your phone <clears throat> am i in the right area you just go uh is that like a text or is that facebook message that's a text okay text um what kind of phone do you have marcy uh, what is that a six oh it's an iphone no, Samsung. Oh, Samsung. Uh, and Casey, Casey's laughing too. Uh, anybody have a Samsung? <laughs> Who knows how to voice text? Um, I used to have a Samsung. So how do you voice text? In the messaging, there should be a little uh, microphone icon. Uh -huh. 
and you just click on the microphone icon and then it will say press to record and you press it and record and then it'll automatically send it like that when you're done so see when i i've got it on right now and all it's doing is typing it out for me are you in a messenger no i'm in a text, text message. message oh in text messaging do i gotta do it on messenger yeah on messenger is how that one works um if you're doing a text message what you have to do then is you have to actually do a video recording of your note and then attach it to your text message uh -huh. oh yeah because in with an iphone you can do the voice text um but it it technically has to be an iMessage, so they have to have an iphone to go to get the same thing so honestly i i would just send a facebook message all the time if that's what you guys want to do marcy you're gonna have to tell me what is so funny because i'm <gasps> <laughs> He's being mean. Being mean. Well, punch him or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. Funny, funny. You guys crack me up. <laughs> are you, are you going to say, I'm wetting my jockey's here? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Where's your headset? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I meant you people. <laughs> I didn't mean you people. I meant you people. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Hi. sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see what Nate had to say. Oh yes. I'll I'll like that. <clears throat> Check my comment on your picture, Nate. <clears throat> You didn't see his comment? I can't, I can't check my messages and all that stuff yet. I'm still focused on Power Hour here. Yeah, quit trying to distract him. He's being too much <laughs> I was just testing him to make sure he was paying attention. Oh, so this is checking your notifications right now. <laughs> Did I graduate past the 50s, you ass? <laughs> I just barely got off 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they called poser blocks? Poser blocks. Uh, Josh is I, I, I definitely can't military press past 50s yet. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the 55s tops. Yeah, like Matt over there. Did you see his shoulders from Fit Club tonight? Kid's getting massive. Did you Boom. See that? Holy crap. Super crazy. I did do shoulder press with the 50s the other day and I was proud of myself. So don't make fun. Yeah. I, lo I lose my form and nothing flat. I'm just joshing you. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> oh, whitewash you this weekend. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Did you guys see the video of where peop these two guys are standing on the chairs like the lawn chairs and they decide they're gonna go swimming in some snow mm -hmm. i can totally see you guys all up at scotty's cabin doing that oh, this we're gonna weekend have some snow laps. just saying just saying <laughs> Post the oh, videos. Yeah, he's got a hot tub now huh yeah. yeah we can do we can do some polar bear swim and then hot tub them. berlin already did that they were good polar bear swim <laughs> Yeah, no, Berlin's the only one to go jump into that pond in the winter. Yeah, well, she, she kind of just walks down the bank into the water. <laughs> we technically <laughs> both went swimming after we jumped in with her. So oh, no. we've all three been in the water. Dang. Yeah, that's my little girl for you. All right, let's see. Thanks, Meg. I'll be prepared for my next power hour. Yeah, this doing this is kind of crazy sometimes because it's like, I only got halfway done and the next assignment's already up. But as soon as you know where to start finding people from, all that good stuff, it, it really does get a lot easier once you know where you're going and what to do. 
So for See, sure. the idea of the hundred people is not a hundred people you're going to talk to necessarily right away. It's just like a memory jogger of just right. names of people you can think of. Right. Okay. Yep. You say because. I can think of a lot of people that like instantly come to mind, but they're not people that have any intentions of talking to you about anything. Well, and, you know, sometimes even just writing it down on a paper helps get them out of your head so that you, so that you have room in your head for other people to be thinking about. Yeah. Cause I mean, I know that for me, especially where I spend most of my life with people at work, like that's like the first names to pop in my head. And so you're like, so I can just delete to to like five people. So I can get those out of the way and then I guess- I never going. want to work with those people ever again. Why would I ask them to join my team? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> Not so funny, so funny. Okay, you guys, so while you're wrapping everything up, um, in this group, uh, like I said, I've got a, a bell for you to ring. Because I'm not going to add a whole bunch of pictures in this group. Um, I've got a bell for you to ring whenever you have something exciting to tell everybody. Um, a new challenger, a new coach, success club points, a new rank. Um, basically, anything fun and exciting that you want to share, go ahead and ring the bell, okay? Um, I also put a help button in there in case you need some help. That's where we can all have our help questions. Um, I don't have an easy button. Our our power hours are our easy button. <laughs> Click power hour done. Yes. Uh, so, and then each day I will just it's going to be the same post each day. Um, basically, just asking. Uh, I think the first one is, did you read your positive affirmations? um to help get yourself in the mindset to start talking to people because if you're in not in a good mindset and you're like oh i gotta do my power hour grr, and you're so angry you're gonna talk to people like that and then you're not gonna get a very good response back so you gotta get in the mindset before you start talking to people so that's why i have uh your positive affirmations to get in the right mindset. I've also got, um, what all do I have in there? I know I've got your workout and your shake. Are you leaving, Marcy? Okay, good night. Good night, good night. Um, I'm just gonna read through these really super fast. I, okay, um, did you read your scroll for the day? And so basically what that is, is this book. And I did put the audio books in the help button uh, question that Bridget asked, okay? So that you can start reading your scrolls um, even if you don't have your book yet. I mean, it's always good to have it, but you can still start reading it. Um, so the, the goal is to read the first scroll. Can you guys see that? Um, scroll number one, uh, every day for 30 days. And really, you should be reading it in the morning, at lunch, and then reading it out loud at night. Um, and then what workout and flavor of Shakeology did you uh, drink? Did you finish your power hour? And did you write down the names of the people that you talked to? Preferably using the power of three chart. Um, and would you call today a success? And basically that's all I'm asking you guys to do is to get onto the group each day and fill out the thing to hold yourself accountable. And um, at the end of the week, I'm also gonna have like a, a sweets and sucks post so that you can, so I'll just ask you like, what, whatever you've learned from this week or what have you learned from your sweets and sucks from this week, okay? So if there was something good, Obviously, you're gonna post it there. If there was something that was like, oh man, this sucks, you put it there and how you learned from it. Because every, every experience that you have is, an, is a learning experience. Agreed? You know, if it was good, obviously you learned how to do something good. If it sucked, you obviously learned how to not do something like that again, you know? So. 
anyhow, I just hope that this group um, really helps everybody stay accountable to hitting all three vital behaviors, not just two consistently every day, but hitting the three vital behaviors consistently every day. So, because I know I don't do very well sometimes. And so this group is also for me to help hold myself accountable um, as well. And then have you guys all in there hold me accountable to doing the steps every day as well. I like it. It's going to help me a lot because I know for a found, I'm really good other than the last couple of days that I was out of town working. I mean, I, I think I've now I'm on like the, I don't remember, I'm like on my fourth or fifth week of, of hammer and chisel. I missed like three workouts and, uh, and well, I guess three and then four today. So I've been, I was doing really good, but, um, so that part I do really good. I'm just terrible at inviting. So this kind of group is going to really help me. And mm -hmm. I got my little cheerleader running around doing stuff behind me that's going to help because every time she hears you in the background and says she's going to come up and poke me in the back of the head and remind me that I got to do that stuff too. Like, hey, remember that group? <laughs> exactly. so, so she'll, she'll keep me on it as well. Exactly. I mean, because we have our uh, ongoing challenge group because that's what I've started doing is just an ongoing challenge group um, because then you can add people into it whenever it's always going people who have been in it for a year and haven't done anything in a while they still can see everybody else posting and might get a, a burst of excitement and decide that they want to start their workout program again you know what I mean rather than just like cutting it off at four weeks and then saying goodbye who, to whoever didn't want to continue on through the next month. Um, so do you do your ongoing group plus a new group every week? You just do the ongoing group, right? Because mm -hmm. I've got an ongoing group and it's funny is because the, the people that post on our ongoing group, one of them is like an ex-family member, like divorced family member. Yeah. And she like talked to us forever and was all on the ball. And she's like, well, I found it for three dollars cheaper on Amazon and bought Mindy. So she bought like a program off of Amazon and she's always posted for like six months now. She posts like almost daily. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess closer to a year. And so she's like the my most consistent poster in there. She didn't even buy anything. But yeah. it's like getting people like that. So we were just trying to decide because for me, I feel like every time I put together a group. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not like the, the Shiva of Beachbody. I don't have 40 people to put in a challenge group. And when you put three people in a challenge group, it's just kind of boring. Yeah, so. agreed. Especially because out of those three, you might be get, you might be lucky if one decides to take the confidence, like take that step and post out there. And yeah. It's like if one doesn't post, then the other one doesn't post, and then the other one doesn't post, and then they're all just being flies on the wall. So, but I I started doing this ongoing group, um, and but I really haven't decided to like change anything yet because of the app coming out. Oh, I wanted to use the app so bad. And supposedly it's supposed to be out uh, the end of this month or the beginning of next month. So that would make my life fantastic. So when that comes out, you know, that can change like so much. So, so for the last month, two months, we've just been doing this ongoing group and it's actually been really good. I've, I've been really happy with the, and in the ongoing group, I don't have, um, it's basically just like this accountability group. It basically says the same thing each day. Um, did you do your workout? Did you drink your shake? There's no assignments to go do anything too crazy because you got to think too, like people before they start working out, they might barely have enough time to get a 30 minute workout in. So you ask them to do that. And then you ask them to comment and say, Hey, I got my workout done. You know what I mean? And then, but then if you say, so I want you to go and find a picture and put your face on it and then put it on your fridge to give you, you know what I mean? Like if you give them too big of an assignment, can like all the time throughout the whole group, um, 
I think, I think you just lose them because they already are to spending more time in their day, just getting their workout done. Um, and then you're asking them to spend even more time, uh, doing motivation stuff, which is good. But a lot of people, I just think don't have the time. And so then they just don't do anything. Fair enough. So I like it. But yeah, no, well, long story short, thanks for letting me jump on. I'm not even a, like on your guys' team. <laughs> you guys on. You always welcome me in, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for jumping out. You're good. Help a lot. You are good. All right, you guys. Well, we've got less than a minute, so we'll call it a night and um, see you next time. Boom. Thank you much. Right. Another success. Yay! <laughs> see ya. See ya.